Interesting. <laughs> yes, little dog. Hi, guys. It is a little bit gloomy, soon to be stormy night here in the end times. It is Tuesday night. It is uh, May 24, 2021. And as I told you in my last rant, I am uh, borderline drunk. I am. Uh, pissed off and heartbroken, and we're going to talk about narcissists. We're going to look at, at narcissists. We're going to go over here to the mainstream media here and look at a story about narcissists. Narcissistic people are not just full of themselves. New research finds narcissists are more likely to be aggressive and violent. Yes, those fucking narcissists, they are aggressive and violent. All right, what is this all about? We are going to find out when, uh, when someone pisses off a fucking narcissist what they can expect. All right, what is the big idea? Uh, the big idea, okay, this is from the research brief. The research brief is a short take about interesting academic work. The big idea, we recently reviewed 437 studies of narcissism and aggression involving a total of over 123,000 participants and found that narcissism is related to a 21% increase in aggression and an 18% increase in violence. This is my little violent dog who is getting violent against a turtle. Uh, all right. Narcissism, narcissism is defined as, quote, Entitled self-importance. Thank you. Uh, entitled self-importance. Yes, I, I have no problem with uh, my entitled self-importance. Uh, thank you very much. Entitled self. It's not just regular self-importance. It is self-importance with entitlement. Uh, okay. Aggression is defined as any behavior intended to harm another who does not want to be harmed. So if you harm any person who does not want to be harmed, you are a fucking narcissist. And of course, so what is the definition of violence according the working definition of violence here is defined as aggression that involves extreme physical harm such as injury or death. Yes. Our review found that individuals high in narcissism are especially aggressive when provoked. Yes, I like provoked by, by the, the, these fucking little uh, these fucking little studies about narcissism. Yes, uh, for instance, but are also aggressive when they aren't provoked. They can just be sitting fucking around doing nothing and they get fucking agree with no provocation, no fucking provocation whatsoever. A fucking narcissist can just be sitting there having a fucking margarita, minding his own fucking business, not being provoked at all and still be fucking aggressive. Yes. 
Study participants with high levels of narcissism showed high levels of physical aggression, verbal aggression, verbal aggression, spreading gossip. Yes, narcissist spreading gossip. Hmm, what gossip uh, can we spread here? Bullying others, and I'm not even sure what the fuck they're talking about here. Displacing, displacing aggression against innocent bystanders. Displacing their aggression against innocent bystanders. Where the fuck were we? Okay. Uh, la, la, la. Narcissist attacked in both a hot headed and cold blooded manner. Yes. Narcissism was related to aggression in males and females of all ages from both Western and Eastern countries. People who think they are superior seem to have no qualms about attacking others who they regard as inferior. Fuck yeah! Uh, <laughs> you know, has there ever been a, a, a fucking better comment about clueless fucking morons? You know, I get so fucking sick and tired of, of these clueless fucking morons. I have, I, I have uh, no qualms about attacking a clueless fucking moron. I spend my entire fucking life attacking clueless fucking morons that are inferior to me. Uh, I, I don't give a shit. You know, we're talking about these clueless fucking morons. You know, just 99.9% .9 of the fucking population of this fucking planet, they're clueless fucking morons. Okay, that's not even the clueless fucking inferior morons I give a fuck about. And anybody here in Humpty Dumpty Tribe, which we'll talk about here in a minute, understands this. Uh, it, it, it is these goddamn little fucking limp dick lefties. These fucking little hopium soaked, apocaloptimistic fucking little lefties and, and, and their fucking green new deals and all of this shit and, and their fucking virtue signaling with their fucking little masks. Uh, all of this shit. It's these fucking little limp dick soft lefties. There's a reason called, they're, they're called soft lefties because they haven't had a fucking hard on in, in about since the Carter administration. You know, it's the, 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 the fucking, you know, these clueless fucking morons over there on the right. You know, they're, they're just clueless fucking morons. They are what they are. It's, it's these fucking little lefties. Uh, you know, fuck them. Uh, a, a few of us hardcore lefties understand what fucking little limp dicks uh, th these little pussies are. They make me want to fucking puke. Anyway, but I could go on with this, but I think I've been going on with this for about 10 fucking years. So why it matters? Okay, we're going, the mainstream media is going to explain to us why it matters. Who gives a flying fuck? Uh, who is a fucking narcissist or not. We're all fucking narcissists. It says right here, research shows everyone, everyone is a fucking narcissist. No shit, Sherlock. But some people have higher levels of narcissism than others. The higher the level of narcissism, the higher the level of aggression. Yes, and then what I love it is they is they actually show a goddamn woman 
uh, as, as an example of a fucking narcissist. Thank you, mainstream media. All of this shit acting like only men can, can be fucking narcissists. I just spent six months of my life with the biggest narcissistic cunt on the fucking planet. And, and uh, good God, uh, I, I'm a fucking piker compared to this bitch. Uh, he's probably listening to this uh, rant and burning down my kitchen right now. People high in narcissism tend to be bad relationship partners. <laughs> yeah, right. How many times have I said, there's not a fucking bitch on this planet who can keep up with me. I, I, any goddamn woman on this planet would be fucking lucky to be in a relationship with me. I, you know, you're, you're, you're all a bunch of chicken shits. Every one of you fucking doomer chicks uh, who act like uh, they think that they can keep up with Hambo and Little Tail. You don't stand a fucking chance, bitch, and you know it. You, you fucking know it. You know goddamn well uh, that you want to be in a relationship with me. But you can't, you, you can't handle it. You, you really start thinking about it, and, and, and nobody can handle being, and there's no woman on this planet who can fucking handle being, being ham-boned little tails, doomer chick forever. She doesn't fucking exist. And she know, and, and everyone, and every goddamn woman listening to this rant, and you know who I'm talking to, darling. You know goddamn well uh, that 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 you just can't cut the fucking mustard. You, you know, you have your fucking invitation. Okay, narcissists also tend to discriminate against others. Well, we've already been through the clueless fucking moron and to be low in empathy. Narcissists are narcissists low in empathy. Uh, I don't really give a fuck whether uh, narcissists are low in empathy or not. I really don't give a fuck. It, it makes no fucking difference to me uh, whether, whether I or anybody else on this fucking planet is low in empathy. You know, it's a fucking cold, cruel universe out there. Fucking deal with it. You know, uh, we all got fucking problems. You do, I do, and, and all your little little empathy. Nobody gives a fuck about your little problems. Go read some fucking Don Juan Matus, you little pussy. Anyway, unfortunately... Narcissism is on the rise, and social media might be a combining factor. Yeah. So people who are active on social media are obviously on social media to, you know, to, to toot their own horns, is what this is saying. So recent research found people who posted large numbers of selfies on social media developed a 25% rise in narcissistic traits over a four-month period. Yes, a 2019 survey by some fucking smartphone company found that 85% of people are taking more pictures of themselves than ever before. Hmm. In recent years, social media has largely evolved from keeping in touch with others, you know, and, and talking about the collapse of a fucking planet and, uh, and all, uh, you know, stuff like that that nobody wants to fucking hear about to flaunting for attention. That all you want to do on your, on your fucking YouTube channel and all this shit is flaunt for attention. If you have a fucking YouTube channel, 
or whatever, and uh, you think anybody on this planet gives a flying fuck about whatever you have to say about the goddamn collapse of a planet, whatever, you are a fucking narcissist. All right. One very important line of work investigates how people become narcissists in the first place. One study found that when parents overvalue, overestimate, or overpraise their child's qualities, their child tends to become more narcissistic. Now, anybody knows, you know, all of this shit, you know, I am with George Carlin on this. Uh, one of my favorite George Carlin routines is, is calling out these fucking parents. Uh, you know, nobody gives a fuck about your fucking kid. Okay? George Carlin was saying this 30 fucking years. Nobody wants to, no, nobody wants to hear about your fucking kid being the next fucking Mozart. Uh, or, 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 you know what, I, I, I get so fucking sick of it, you, I know exactly what George Carlin is talking about, uh, but anyway, I'm not here to talk about my, that, I'm not here to talk about, I'm not here to talk about Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza is the coolest fucking dog on this planet. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck about your fucking dog. I don't give a fuck if your fucking dog, uh, you know, uh, some fire was burning down a fucking uh, orphanage and your fucking dog uh, alerted the fucking orphanage, uh, you know, that if your fucking dog hadn't been around, that 400 fucking little planet nibbling bundles of joy would have gone up in, 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 a, in the fucking flames. I have the coolest dog on the planet, Sancho Panza. Uh, is there anybody who would deny that this dog is the coolest fucking dog on the planet? What do you think, Sancho Panza? Are you the coolest dog on the planet? This right here, and, and, and uh, th th this is not open to debate. This dog right here, I have the fucking coolest dog on the fucking planet. And uh, anybody uh, who does not agree with me on that can go fuck themselves. Okay, moving along. What's next in their research? Okay, now let's look at narcissism on the group level. That this narcissism is not just a, 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 uh, an individual trait. Okay. The link also exists at the group level. Research has found that collective narcissism, collective narcissism, or my group is superior to your group, is related to intergroup aggression especially when one's in-group, us, is threatened by an out-group, them. And obviously, guys, we have to talk about the fucking ass-licking toadies with their fucking tongues up Guy McPherson's butthole here. Uh, you know, any talk about narcissists, you know, sometimes when, when I try to be a fucking narcissist, and, and, and I go over there and listen to that fucking, uh, that, that, that fucking pompous ass Guy McPherson talking to his little ass licking toadies. They're, they're, they're little fucking cult. Uh, you know, it's Guy's way or the fucking highway. And if you don't believe that fucking humans are going to be extinct in 2026, you are an, an inferior, clueless fucking moron. And uh, if Guy McPherson, if you're a little fucking cult leader who has never made a correct prediction since the day the motherfucker was born, the lying sack of shit has never once called it right. 
He has called it wrong over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, that motherfucking narcissist sitting up there, that papa's ass with, with all of his ass-licking toadies. If you do not, if you are not an ass-licking toady, you are a clueless fucking moron. And this is exactly who they're talking about in their research, are, are, are these fucking ass-licking, clueless fucking moron doomers uh, believing for one fucking minute that humans are going to be extinct by 2026. Uh, I wish to fuck humans were going to be extinct by 2022. It ain't going to fucking happen. Do the fucking math, you clueless fucking inferior morons. You fucking ass licking, toady, clueless fucking morons. There, there's fucking 80 million humans added to this fucking planet every year. 2026, what are you talking, five years? 80 million times five is 400 million, okay? There are going to be 400 million more fucking humans on this fucking planet in five years than there are, yeah, five years than there are now. It's simple math, okay? Guy McPherson, you're full of fucking shit. You fucking know it. All of your fucking uh, little uh, goddamn ass licking toadies. Uh, you know, every one of you makes me want to fucking puke. But I got no more time for the narcissist in chief of the fucking Doomosphere, Guy McPherson. I admit, I, I admit, uh, I I'm fucking envious here. Uh. So how did they come up with this? Uh, our study is called a meta-analytic review, which combined data from multiple studies investigating the same topic to develop a conclusion that is statistically stronger because of the increased number of participants. Yes, a meta-analytic review can reveal patterns that are not obvious in any one study. It is like looking at the entire forest rather than the individual trees. Okay, so who wrote this? Oh, this was originally published in the conversation. It was written by Brad Bushman of Ohio State University and Sophie Jerbic, also of Ohio State. And if you enjoyed this article, you might also enjoy the article Personality Can Predict Who is a Rule Follower and who flouts COVID-19 social distancing guidelines. I, I don't have to open up the fucking article, okay? Who is a rule follower it is a fucking panicked sheeple slave. It, it is people who have never had a fucking original thought in their fucking peanut-sized little fucking brains since the day they were born. Okay, it is the it, it is these clueless fucking morons who believe every single fucking word uh, on the mainstream media and, and 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 never question authority. Okay, those are the rule followers. Okay, as opposed to the COVID, those who flout Corona panic social distancing guidelines, which would be me and, and anyone with a fucking brain looking, uh, okay, okay, you got a person here, you got a fucking person six feet a fucking away from them. Okay, they're facing each other. Uh, this person is blah, 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 this person is six feet away, blah, 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 the fucking virus the, the, the fucking virus, it goes out three fucking feet and falls on the ground. There you go. 
You can, uh, all you got to do to whip the Corona Panic's ass is not get within six fucking feet of another fellow human and these viruses, they, they last for three feet. It's like, you know, that little character pig pen and peanuts walking around with, you know, with that little, with that little three foot fucking dark cloud of, of, of dust fall, you know, falling around him. You know who I'm talking about, fucking pig pen. That as long as you stay away three feet from pig pen, that none of his, you know, none of his negative energy will will uh, intercept your little fucking green bubble or, or whatever. You know, pull your fucking head out of your asses. You fucking, you're a fucking slave. You're a fucking rule follower. You don't question anything. You don't have a fucking brain. Because you're fucking inferior. You're an inferior little fucking little sheeple uh, who whatever the little, the little, you know, the guys who shake the bugs in a jar. You're, you're, you're the fucking bug in the jar. Is, is what you are, is, is what you fucking are. You're a fucking bug in a jar, and, and you're goddamn proud of it with your fucking little, uh, you know, virtue signaling mask on. Anyway, I don't even have to read the fucking article. I just explained it to you. And, of course, if you enjoyed that story, you might enjoy why do people risk their lives for the perfect selfie. Yes, I always, absolutely. Uh, one of the few things that still puts a smile on my face in life is every time I read, you know, about some fucking clueless moron getting a fucking selfie, you know, with some uh, mother bison in Yosemite, you know, petting a fucking bison's calf. And, 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 and fucking, I mean, Yellowstone or wherever that national park is, I absolutely love it when these clueless fucking morons are, you know, leaning over a 700 foot catac, you know, fucking, you know, like, like the, the fucking uh, uh, coyote and the roadrunner thinking that, that maybe if, if they can just get that fucking selfie. You know, and they can spin their legs just fucking long enough before they fall 700 feet and, and put their clueless fucking moron uh, selves out, out of their out of their own fucking uh, just torture. Uh, these these goddamn anybody. I absolutely love people dying for the perfect selfie. The reason why. It is because they're clueless fucking morons. I, I mean, this isn't fucking rocket science. Why do people risk their lives for the perfect selfie? The answer is because they are clueless fucking morons. Anyway, I have got to wrap up this rant. I don't know, guys. I've kind of worn myself out. We'll have to decide. It's going to be a rainy day tomorrow. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So maybe we have to, uh, tomorrow, we're going to come back and look at QAnon crowd convinced that UFOs are a diversion from voter fraud. I, I've heard from a listener that my UF video, UFO videos make her horny. So uh, anyway, we're going to do a favor for a friend tomorrow. And uh, let's see, QAnon crowd convinced UFOs are a diversion from Voter fraud, and how about one more? We can wait till tomorrow. A fungus 
could turn some cicadas into sex crazed salt shakers of death. That you're going to have to wait till tomorrow to find out how a fungus could turn some cicadas into sex crazed salt shakers of death. Because I've got to wind up this rant and go call Ariel and see what her emergency tarot card reading was all about uh, to find out if, if my heartbreak is uh, going to last or not. And I'm going to put the world's coolest little dog to bed. He is glad to finish his rant. Okay, world's coolest little dog. Tell the folks. Good night. Bye, guys. Yes, world's coolest little dog. We are done. We will come back to the uh, to the hormone-inducing UFO rant tomorrow. Bye, guys.